Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is variation or proportion. So first, while reading the problem, we have to understand whether this is direct variation or inverse variation or inverse proportion. So first we will read the problem and try to understand. 15 worker can build a wall in 48 hours. So here we can understand that if we increase the number of workers, what will happen? The number of hours which will be taken for building that wall will get reduced. So if one quantity increases, the other quantity is decreasing. This is inverse proportion or inverse variation. Okay. So let's start this problem. First, we have identified that this is inverse variation. So number of workers, what we will do, we will take this as N. Okay. That is number of worker and the time taken. Okay. So this is in inverse variation. So we can say T is in inverse variation with the number of workers. So if the number of worker increases, the time taken for building the wall will decrease. Therefore, this is a inverse variation or inverse proportion. So next we can say T is equal to K N where K is the constant of variation or proportion. So we can write this as T into N is equal to K. So in the first given data, we have number of workers is equal to 15 and the time taken is 48 hours. So we can put T as 48 and N that is number of workers we can put as 15. So here when we multiply these numbers, we will have 720. So we can say K is equal to 7 to 0. So we found the value of constant of variation that is 7 to 0. So we can say that equation of variation or proportion will be T into N is equal to K and K value we know that is 7 to 0. So this is equation of variation or equation of proportion. So now the question which is asked is how many workers will be required to do the same amount of work in 30 hours. Okay. So now we have been given hours as 30 and we need to find the number of workers. So we can put number of hours as 30 and the number of workers we don't know. So this is 7 to 0. So we can say n is equal to 7 to 0 divided by 30 because we have to divide both sides by 30. So we will have n is equal to 720 divided by 30. 7 to 0 divided by 30. So when we do the division, we will have n is equal to 24. That is number of workers required to do the same amount of work in 30 hours we will require 24 number of workers. So hope you like this video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then, goodbye.